I'm Steve Morgan, founder of Cybersecurity Ventures and editor-in-chief at Cybercrime Magazine. I'm here today with David Williams, founder, chairman, and CEO at Arkit, whose mission is to use transformational quantum encryption technology to keep safe the data of governments, enterprises, and citizens. To learn more about our sponsor, Arkit, visit arqit.uk, arkit.uk. David, welcome. Great to have you with us today. Thanks for having me here, Steve. It's great to talk to you. So, David, we've been following Arkit, a great company, great story. Take us back in time. Uh, why did you start the company? We started Arkit because we could see that the current technologies which keep our data safe are very badly compromised, and we thought we could create a better way to do that. Uh, our mission now is to keep safe the data of our governments, enterprises, and citizens. So give us a 30,000-foot view of your product. What is it exactly that Arkit is offering? So we developed a product which is a software system called Quantum Cloud. It makes an unlimited number of symmetric encryption keys in unlimited group sizes which are created in the moment in which they're needed. These keys can't be intercepted and they can't be broken. In the beginning we were considering quantum communications techniques uh, such as QKD but we realized in 2018 that they have limitations. So we focused on inventing software to do that job. Arkit invented a new quantum protocol called Arc19 as an input into a hybrid tech stack. Uh, Arc19 is a constituent part of the quantum cloud service, not a standalone product. It was developed by leaders in the field of information security and cryptography, uh, including Dr. Daniel Shu, formerly the UK's head of cryptographic design and quantum information processing, at GCHQ. Using Arc19, we create identical copies of random numbers at every data center in the network. The second major innovation, DSCC, produces the small software app which can be downloaded onto even the smallest of connected devices. Uh, the app communicates with the data centers and the other devices with which it wants to create secure channels over whichever classical internet channel is available. The random numbers in our data centers are used in a novel way as an ingredient in the endpoint key creation. So our tech is not only transformational in its security, but also its ease of use and simplicity of deployment. Enterprises don't need to rip and replace, they can simply layer our software on top of their tech stack. So, David, who's going to benefit the most from this technology? Are we talking about governments uh, in the private sector? Are there specific industry verticals? Are there some who you think would be early adopters? Uh, yeah, it's a good question. Given the issue that Arkit's looking to solve, uh, that legacy encryption is obsolete, uh, it has a very large pool of potential customers. Public key infrastructure, or PKI, was designed decades ago and was never intended to protect our hyperconnected world. Um, and it now has many vulnerabilities in its implementation uh, for attackers to exploit. Quantum computers will soon compromise the mathematics at the heart of PKI. And so the world is being urged to create and adopt uh, new protections. The efforts to make PKI more resistant to quantum attack are temporary and pose grave problems in usability. So we sell our product today on an enterprise license basis. So we're targeting government and large enterprise customers. We've been fortunate to make some great progress with telecoms companies, defense service providers, um, energy and utilities. And we're now making inroads in financial services. Uh, so just this year, uh, for example, Arkit has announced a contract to lead the UK AU Space Bridge project under which Arkit will work with the Australian government uh, Australian National University and industrial partners to develop a plan for Australian participation in ARKIT's Federated Quantum System project. We want a project with uh, the company's involvement uh, uh, in a Department for Digital Culture, Media and Sport program to develop a wideband solution for 5G cellular open RAN platforms uh, incorporating Quantum Cloud. We signed a new Cooperative Research and Development Agreement, or a CRADA, uh, with the US Air Force's uh, research laboratory, which will demonstrate the interoperability and performance of Arkit's quantum cloud platform for uh, defense use cases. And then it was Arkit was selected recently by the UK Ministry of Defense uh, to join its multi-domain integrated system or 
MDIS project. Uh, so there are a few examples. So the company has accomplished a lot, David. I'm curious, what, you know, what are your growth plans going forward? We solve a very big problem. It affects every connected device in the world. So it should be a very big market. And we believe that today, Arkit Software is the only product which can create uh, zero trust, computationally secure, uh, symmetric encryption keys at mass market scale. We have over 120 employees today, and we're expecting to grow further this year with uh, offices in uh, the Americas and Asia Pacific, as we're winning business in multiple markets. So in the cybersecurity space, I don't have to tell you there's a labor shortage. Uh, you know, there's a lot of competition for talent right now. So how do you plan to attract staff? Well, we have almost doubled in size in the last year. And we find that people are excited to work uh, with such world-leading technology. Uh, it's also a fun company to work at. So we've been fortunate to recruit and retain an extraordinarily talented group of people. The growth potential is also huge. And I made sure that every single employee has stock options. So uh, everyone will benefit from our success. So a lot of people ask, you know, what is the culture like? They're talking to uh, HR managers, they're talking to recruiters, they're thinking about companies they might go to work for, they're, they're looking at Arkit. What, what do you tell them? Yes, I agree. Culture is very important, a very important part of any startup. And we want to preserve that as we grow. So we've put in place measures from the outset um, and recently completed our second annual employee engagement survey. Engagement is a measure of how positively people feel about their work and uh, it's done anonymously through an external provider. So engagement covers employee support for leadership, clarity of mission, uh, vision, respect, key behaviours, uh, culture and diversity. And the engagement score in this year's survey is 89%, which is a good score. And consistent with this, over the last two years, uh, the company has an average annual churn rate of about 5%. So we're pretty pleased. So David, in the tech industry, uh, everybody from the giants, you know, Microsoft and Google, all the way down to small startups, and we definitely see that in our space in cybersecurity, there's a lot of discussion about diversity. Companies uh, feel it's very important to express their position, their strategy. Uh, what does Arkit have to say? Yeah, we, we agree. Um, we were around average against our UK and, uh, technology peers in ethnic diversity. But in the IT industry in the UK, there's a challenge, uh, we think, to recruit the brightest women into tech uh, in general. Uh, we think diversity is very important for a successful innovation company. Uh, part of our success is based on the mashup of very widely different talents that created such unusual innovation. So we focus a lot of attention on getting the best female candidates to apply for our annual graduate recruitment intakes. And we, together with the female members of our board of directors and our advisory board, uh, drafted a detailed policy in 2021 on how to increase gender diversity uh, within the company. We concluded that we need to offer the best in class maternity packages, along with uh, initiatives like mentoring, uh, in order to attract the best candidates. And then we subscribe to the uh, the WISE campaign, uh, which aims uh, for women to account for at least 30% of the UK STEM workforce by 2030. And they help companies like ours to achieve that. So what should we expect, David, from, from market this year for the rest of 2022 and perhaps uh, going into 2023? Uh, we're working hard to continue to grow the business this year. We're also engaged in a number of processes which should, should see the capabilities of our software uh, uh, further verified publicly. And of course, the number of customers rises over time, as can be seen from our press releases so far this year. Also, we continue to innovate and there are a number of expected developments which make the software easier to use and make implementation faster for a broader range of customers. Well, we've heard great things about the company, David. We're glad to have you on uh, with us today. And uh, it would be great if we can uh, have you come back on with us later in the year and, and follow back up on the Arkit story. I'd love to do that. And it's always great to talk to you, Steve. Thank you. I'm Steve Morgan, founder of Cybersecurity Ventures and editor-in-chief at Cybercrime Magazine. Joining us today was David Williams, founder, chairman, and CEO at Arkit, whose mission is to use transformational quantum encryption technology to keep safe the data of governments, enterprises, and citizens. 
To learn more about our sponsor, Arkit, visit arqit.uk, arkit.uk. To keep up with all of our media, you can visit cybercrimemagazine.com.